all you thrill seekers and fearless adventurers, welcome to another episode of Cash Craze. Last time, eight teens embarked on a quest to win the Cash Craze of baseball and a $10,000 grand prize. They fought their way through challenges and raced through a sporty craze maze to nab hidden cash points. Team Mayhem had the most points and won the day, but Squad struck. But in a surprise twist, no one is being eliminated today. So this time, all eight teams are back and stranded on a deserted island to take on more challenges. And with the threat of elimination looming, things get a little tense. Okay, then you stop running and think. If you puke, you'll feel better. Get ready to take the plunge. It's time for Cash Grace. We do want to be the winner. Today's challenges will get you wet and wild. It's going to be really important to excel at every challenge and cash as much as we can. And have you reaching for the sky. We got to pick it up. We really have to pick it up. We're kind of worried that we're on the chopping block. OK, you guys know how this works. <laughs> on your cash nabber, you'll see the location of four explorer challenges. You must do three out of the four challenges in the craze maze. Doing a challenge reveals its hidden caches. Nab the points from those caches and make it to the finish line before the five alarm alarm. The team with the least amount of points today goes home. So you have to give it your all. Let's see who gets a 10 minute head start today as we kick things off with our launch challenge. Yeah! This is the Trike Bike Derby. You guys will be racing around the island on your own tricked out trike. And in this race, teammates will push their captains through the swamp of cake batter, which sounds delicious, down the slalom and past the popcorn cannons. We have popcorn, too. And then you switch drivers and deke around another slalom section, heading straight through the candy floss track. Then survive stuck Animal Alley and be the first to smash through the wall of pain and cross the finish line. The top two teams will get an extra 10 minutes in the craze maze and a first look at today's Explore Challenges. Three, two, one, kapay! And right off the start, Team Zen Force takes a bad spill. Powerhawk into the cable. I fell off pretty much rolling in the cake bag. Get back on. Get back on. Get back. Hey, Sam just completely fell off her bike. Go, go, go. The Powerhawks are killing the slalom right now. And they made it right through the popcorn unscathed. I went through the popcorn? I actually got one in my mouth. It's pretty good. <laughs> The lead teams are now switching drivers. This could affect their standing. Okay, look. Our hawks are out. They're headed towards the candy floss right now. Good stuff. But their buttercups are right behind them in the slow. Slow Wipeout. There's been a wipeout. The buttercups are ahead now. Go, 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 go. Okay, push. 
push, push. Powerhawks are recovering and they're headed towards the cotton candy. You're doing good. You're doing good, Devin. You're doing good. But the Buttercups have a giant lead now. I knew what was stopping us right away. It was the cotton candy stuck under our tires. So as fast as I could, I tried to rip it out from under our tires. Before we knew it, it was already kind of too late. And the bombshells are overtaking the bombshells are in the lead. The bombshells get bombed by monkeys. to the cotton candy and buttercups are in front of us and I can see that they're struggling. They just cleared a straight path right through and we zipped on by. Ten force two! Buttercups three! It's uh, amazing that we are going to get the 10 minute head start and to uh, know where the challenges are right away. Keep running! Running! Five! Good four, job, D! Yeah. I was a little disappointed that I wasn't able to like, keep going and uh, get into second or first place. Team Grand Slam! If we had had another 100 yards, we would have won it. Kate was gaining speed on everyone. Full of candy bars, yeah! Good job, Sam! Out of BT Lamb Squad! Team Whack Attack! Amazing! It was really tough pushing my mom. I mean, she does weigh like over like 300 pounds. Congratulations, Team Bombshell, taking home first place. That is amazing. Give me one more. Awesome. Good job, guys. You've earned a 10-minute head start in the craze mate. All right, now there's four challenges out there today, and you must complete three of them. Bombshells is the winners. You get to decide which Explorer Challenge you're going to do first. Will it be Explorer Challenge 1, Save the Whales, or Explorer Challenge 2, Pigeons on the Poop Deck? What do you want? One. 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 Bombshell's taking number one. <laughs> that means Zen Force, you guys are going to explore challenge two. All right. Well, let's do this. Number two. Number two. And OK, teams, your 10 minutes of extra time in the craze maze, well, that starts now. Go, go, go. We need to make the most of every minute in this competition, because two points could make the bottom difference. I am the prize. I am the prize. I'm in the second, top two. It's an awesome, awesome feeling. So it's uh, going to pump us up for the rest of it. Obviously. Yeah. While Team Bombshell and Zen Force enjoy their 10-minute head start, the rest of the teams have to contemplate what went wrong for them in the launch challenge. The team passes are super disappointed because we had such a head start. They killed us. We were so close. Yeah. And we know we need to rock it in the, uh, the cash napping. We tried our best to win, but I know we're going to do a better in other challenges. Team Bombshell have arrived at their first challenge of the day. Explore challenge one. Save the whales. Woo! The teams will take a flying leap into danger and swim out to a pod of killer whales tethered to a buoy, a football field's distance from shore. Unhook the pod, tow them to safety, and reattach them to another buoy in shallower water. Completing the challenge will reveal the cash locations. And doing it in under five minutes will earn two big points. We have to jump oh. off this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Launch challenge winners Team Bombshell need to save the whales by swimming them to a buoy closer to shore. The clock starts when the first team member hits the water. And they have five minutes to get the job done if they hope to earn two points. You go first and I'll go right after. No, because if I go first, no. you won't jump. I will, I promise. You go you and won't. I'll go right after. You won't jump. Oh. You think I should go, go first? Yes, go right now. Go, go walk scissors. up there. Fine. Great. Oh, okay. You better jump after me or I'll be angry. I will, I promise. Ready? One, One two, two, three, go. <laughs> Watch out I don't jump oh. on your head. Oh. One, two, three. I don't remember what I'm feeling in my stomach as I'm going over the edge. I just want to get this over with. Team Zenforce had a longer trip to get to their first challenge of the day, but they're safely aboard the HMS Cash Craze. 
your challenge too. Pigeons on the poop deck. There's a pigeon problem, and it's causing a bit of a mess on the poop deck. Team members have to find two keys in a vat of gooby goo using only their faces. Then they climb all the way up the mass to the bro's nest and unlock two padlocks. When the pigeon is released, so are the cash locations. Teams who complete this challenge in under two minutes earn two points. We're uh, raised with uh, Filipino foods. So as far as the texture goes, I think we're OK. Grab it with your tongue. <laughs> awesome, buddy. Team Zen Force is off to a great start, but the rest of the teams are about to enter the craze maze. Team Bombshell and Zen Force have already reached the first of four Explorer challenges. You have to complete three out of four, or you'll be eliminated from the competition. Every time you complete a challenge, you'll see the locations of the hidden caches. Add the points with your cash nabber and make it to the finish line before the five alarm alarm. So Team Glam Squad, since your team finished with the least amount of points in the last race, you're facing a penalty in today's craze maze. This means today you need to finish up 15 minutes earlier than the rest of the teams. So play it smart. You gotta know when to nab caches and when to head to the next challenge. Teams, your race begins now. <laughs> Team Bombshell makes short work of saving the whales, with Team Captain Maddie showing that sometimes she prefers to work alone. <laughs> she knew if I helped her pull it, I would just slow her down. Team Bombshell are the first to score some points and to see Save the Whales set of hidden caches. It's not far. Meanwhile, the rest of the teams are closing in on their Explorer challenges, with Teams Whack Attack and Buttercup leading the race to Pigeons on the Poop Deck, and Team Powerhawk closing in on Save the Whales. Okay, we're pretty close, Kevin. We're really close. We're really close. The Team Glam Squad has barely moved. Facing a short race day because of their penalty in the last race, Michelin is giving Captain Joanne a much-needed pep talk. We still have a chance to stay today. I know. I need your help. OK, Joanne? Yeah. We can do it. OK. We, can, we don't want to go home. Of course. OK? Meanwhile, the launch challenge winners, Team Bombshell, are trying to agree on a caching strategy and to just get along. Should we go to that one? Okay, so we'll get these ones and then just start heading to EC2. No, we're gonna get the one right there and the one right there, which is kind of close, but the other one is really far. EC. It's gonna be a long day if they can't get it together. You're being kind of mean. Whatever, I just made my point three times and you don't understand you it, so I was just getting hand. frustrated. Well, I can't see I it. I was just getting frustrated, not trying to be mean. At the HMS Cash Craze, Team Zen Force is ready to hit the ropes. And for one of them at least, a trip to the crow's nest should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, I love heights. I climb, actually instruct uh, climbing, so it should be okay. Releasing the pigeons will reveal the cache locations on the map. And if they do it in under two minutes, that's two points. You got it. Pigeon! Fly away. Fly! Fly away. All right, let's do this. Team Zen Force really needs that bird to fly the coop. Team Buttercup and Team Whack Attack are manning the deck. Drop! 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 Drop. Not far away, Courtney is hoping that Maddie has led them to the right spot, and they'll be the first team to nab a cache. Are you on the dot? No. Well, why are you over there then? Because I'm trying to get closer to the dot, what you tend to do when you look for caches. Right there it is. Two. But they're now being joined in the hunt by Team Zen Force. We're just finding out where the next challenge is, or a point along the way. Oh, there's Ooh. a lot. And Team Powerhawk, well, they'll be next if Devo can just take that first step to save the whales. I'm oh. feeling quite scared. Oh. Uh, I've never jumped off a height like this. Probably with quite the experience. I just hope that we, well, survive. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
With two teams already out nabbing caches, Team Powerhawk hope they'll be the next team to join them. Eight teams are battling it out in the craze maze, hoping to secure enough points to avoid elimination. Wait, we're gonna do okay in the elimination. We just wanna last as long as we can in this thing, and hopefully win. If Team Powerhawk can save the whales by towing them closer to shore in less than five minutes, they'll earn two points to get them on their way. I'm feeling quite confident going into this that we're not going to be eliminated at this stage of the game. Back at Pigeons on the Poop Deck, Team Whack Attack and Team Buttercup are in a race to see who can free their pigeon first. Oh, push your mouth along the bottom till you find it. Go right into the edges. Don't drown, though, because then we're going to lose because you're dead. So, you got one? Yeah. Go to your left. It's kind of a bit. Go, start. You got it. <laughs> Woo, baby. I want a puke. Team Powerhawk are proving that hawks are probably not the best swimmers in the animal kingdom. They've missed out on the two points for saving the whales, but they still need to step it up because Team Grand Slam has just arrived. Grandma's going to go first because and the time starts when she jumps, and I know that I'm gonna jump, so yeah, I think it'd be better that Grandma would go first. Yeah, I'll go first. Thanks to Garrett's key finding skills, Team Buttercup jump ahead of Team Whack Attack on the ropes. I think we got up there pretty fast. I had some trouble with the lock, but it's pretty decent. Garrett, the pigeon whisperer, gets the bird to fly the coop. Team Buttercup can easily get two points and can finally start catching. So Team Zen Force are determined to take their momentum from the launch challenge all the way to the finish. We try to like outbeat each other in like different circumstances, whether that be racing or trying to beat each other in video games or just any type of scenario like that. And after sizing up the competition, I'll take the right They believe they're destined to be one of the last teams standing. One! We're gonna be in the top three. Physically, we're, we're right there. Uh, we've got good endurance. You know what? What? We are, uh, we've got a long distance ahead of us. For Team Bombshell, this competition isn't just about the win. It doesn't really matter if we win, but I definitely don't want to be in the bottom two. Uh, see you there. We got time to make up. Maddie, well, can you at least wait? Even if she leaves her sister in the dust. <laughs> you got it? It's not opening. It's not opening. Team Whack Attack only have a few seconds left to free the bird before time runs out. They can keep the challenge, but they won't get the two points. Go, we, we've got uh, two more challenges coming up. So we just got to make sure that we're going hard and we are getting as many points as possible. KT, tell me I can do this. You can do it, Grandma. Back at Save the Whales, Grandma Ann is ready to jump. Well, she's almost ready. And now she's like totally ready. Way to go, Grandma. Jumping off that pier was very high. And when you hit that water, it was so cold, your body just went numb. Yo! Come on, Tim. Team Mayhem won the last craze maze. And with Brad's NHL experience, they're gonna be the team to beat. The challenges, I think we struggled with, but um, the caching we did pretty good. So we can actually get a couple good outings um, in, the, in the challenges. Um, the caching is going to be good for us, I think. Go deep. But a slow start today has them neck and neck with the weakest team. No, I'm not jumping. Are we jumping? Team Glam Squad avoided elimination at the end of the last race, but today they have to finish 15 minutes before the other teams. But that doesn't seem to be giving them much of a reason to jump off the pier. I'm scared because it's a lake, and I don't like lakes. It's scary, there's like fishes. I'll jump first because Joanne, <laughs> she's gonna be scared of being by herself. There's a beach. With Team Mayhem 
about to hit the ropes. <laughs> Get it. Team Bombshell joins them on deck. The girls are the first team to take on their second challenge of the day. Every team must do three out of four challenges in the craze maze, or they'll be eliminated. Get it. You can do it. Ew, I just winged it out of my hair. Yes! Give me that claw. That's what I'm talking about. Just a... Yeah! You spit on our claw, and then our claw... I spit on it, I wiped it off. Yeah, my, my end's out. Up on the ropes, Team Mayhem need to beat the clock and collect the two points if they can free the bird. It's not turning, Dad. Yeah, put it, put it all the way in the thing. Turn it. Dad, I'm turning it. There. Take your touch. They've done it! And even though it's a slow start, they're not the last team to start cashing. Brave Micheline yeah! leads by example. Are you good? Okay. Wait up, Mommy. Mommy, support me. It's so much fun, Joanne. Nothing happens? Nothing. I'm going! Team Grand Slam took a lot of time to save the whales, but are now on the path that leads to the next Explorer Challenge. I think that the other teams are doing better. I don't know how many points the other teams have, but I think they have more. Come on, Court. Oh my gosh, you're a monkey. Maddie's the kind of girl who you could dare her to do anything, and she'll do it. I would say Maddie's worst quality is her temper. Uh, she tends to get really angry if you do something wrong. I'm not like Maddie. Oh, this is high. Take your key off. Use the other hand to unlock your lock. I've got it. <laughs> let go. Let go of the cage. Use both hands. Let go of the one. Time expires, so Team Bombshell says so long to those two points. Shake it. You're scaring me. He's got to get out. And then finally to the pigeon. All right. I don't want to get down so bad. Team Glam Squad saved the whales, but too slowly to get two points. At least they live to tell the tale. We felt we were gonna die. All right, let me tell you how it's going, monkey. With all teams now through two challenges each, Team Zen Force hold the lead over Team Bombshell, while Team Whack Attack and Team Buttercup battle it out for third place. But for the teams in the bottom half, the risk of elimination looms large. But at this pace, honey, we'll, we'll get docked everything we've earned. Oh, come on. With an hour and a half left, every team needs to complete one more challenge and nap points before the five alarm alarm. We don't want to be eliminated by not doing the challenge. And we also don't want to be eliminated by not getting enough caches. Exactly. So we got about a half hour, a little bit more, to get as many caches as we can before the next challenge. Yes. We got to go. With Max leading the charge, Team Whack Attack are closing in on Explorer Challenge 3, their third and final challenge of the day. It's OK, we're a team. So sometimes he can be strong, and sometimes I can be strong. And that's why we're a team. Explorer Challenge 3, Bubble Bust. Teammates get strapped into the cash craze Dizzy Spinner, wearing a bullseye target smack dab in the middle of their chest. We'll have 60 seconds to burst as many paint balloons as possible on the target. Each correct hit earns a face full of paint, a lot of laughs, and a point. I thought we talked about this and we weren't gonna actually throw the paint. Okay, let me down. This is getting ridiculous. Are you laughing? It'll be no fun if you want it. Yeah, baby. Aww. I still want to. Meanwhile, race leaders Team Zen Force have also decided to stop cashing for the moment and get it together for their final challenge of the day. Explore Challenge 4, conjoined twin lighthouse keepers. Teams must put on an oversized slicker and get joined at the hip while they work to repair a broken generator. Onto the beach, they must first dig up a set of missing gears. 
Returning to the lighthouse, they assemble the parts, spark up the generator, and produce enough power to light up the mermaid's trident. Team's able to do it in less than five minutes. Get two points. I think this will be the closest we get to being twins, and that we want to get. <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, and two. <laughs> Feel anything? No, I don't. Here, got it. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. What is this? It's a box. Watching her getting pain all over in that stupid clown costume. Oh, I can make it count! Team Whack Attack have earned one point. I love it. Can we do this again? And a look at Bubble Bus set of hidden caches. <laughs> Team Z Force are back from the beach, but they're struggling to put their generator together. Then in both Uncle and Jonathan and I would be better at the physical attributes of the challenges. Uh, mental challenges, yeah, we, we really have trouble with that at sometimes. Yeah, just a green buddy. Yeah, yeah. We get two points and see another set of cash locations. Now let's get them out of that costume before they start finishing each other's sentences. That was a challenge. It was a challenge, yeah, I just mean. Just getting coordinated and trying yeah, to... Being tied up together, just moving yeah. as one body. Yeah. Too late. Come on, guys. With another set of caches revealed, Team Whack Attack joins Team Zen Force in top gear with a whole hour to nab caches before the five alarm alarm. Meanwhile, Team Glam Squad still need to complete one more challenge and reach that finish line 15 minutes before the rest of the teams. Uh-oh. On the way. The stress is starting to show. My mom has to slow down and think before she's going. I'm so confused and I'm getting so nervous. My, Joanne, what I do, baby, I walk and I see it at the same time. You know what I mean? I'm different than you. Please leave me. I do my, my way. And they're not the only ones not seeing eye to eye. Team Bombshell's sibling rivalry is still a brewing. No, one pulling you, this is gonna make it way slower for both of us. Well, this is the speed I would like to go, please. Can you just please slow down? No. Back at Bubble Bus, Team Buttercup is ready to throw down. Try not to hit me in the face, babe. Dude, you're gonna get hit in the face, guaranteed. <laughs> go. Come on. Throw him harder. Come on. Still hit me in the middle. Yeah, this. Come on. Actually, aim. I'm just looking for a. Team Bombshell are not the only siblings fighting today. Come on, dude. No, like when I go down, aim it down. Alright, when I am up, aim it up. Keep blowing our thing, dude. dude it's not you my fault. I sucked the launch challenge. I Every... sucked at the launch challenge. Yeah, you couldn't push. I don't care about you. Heard that? I don't care about you either. Team Mayhem are looking to get back into their race after a slow start, but the pace is taking its toll on the team captain. Let's go. Looking back there, I think my girl's whipped here. I think my dad is really driven to win this day, and we're gonna get to our next challenge, and then we're gonna get up. A lot of more um, captions on the way, so. I'm yelling or kind of encouraging her, you know, aggressively to kind of keep going. We can run to one, though. Pick one and run to it. And I think I have to find that balance myself, too, just to kind of walk and run because, um, you know, you can't give it all because you'll run out of gas, too. And it's Team Powerhawk getting to the lighthouse. What is all this stuff? Followed closely by Team Grand Slam. All right, let's go. And the conjoined team Powerhawk is the first to head out. We're conjoined twins. Like, really? Him, me, trying to get ourselves synchronized. My big foot is small foot. My big step is small step. Oh, man, it's windy. But we made it. Let's see if we can find it. Look on that right side. I'm seeing anything. I guess we got our rhythm down pretty fast. One, two, one, two. Ah. One, two. Push over 
the way. Which way do you want to go? This way? It's somewhere inside here. I don't know if we're going deep enough. Uh, uh, we've only got a half hour to get to the finish line. we got to get as many cash nabs as, as we can. But we can't go too far out of our way. It's only a half hour. Team Whack Attack are on a roll and move into the lead. But Team Buttercup is very close behind. As is Team Z Force, who have also completed all three challenges. Mm. Oh, I found it, found it. Yes. Dig, dig, dig. Tate and Anne are proving to be better conjoined twins, literally leaving Team Power Hot with their heads in the sand. Yes. It's like it's pretty deep. Found anything. We came in behind the yellow team. And then once we got there and we started doing the Explorer Challenge, we really picked it up and then we left before them. Don't give up, right? Team Glam Squad is running out of time, but they still have a chance to stay in the game with a slight points lead over Team Mayhem. Well, we need to win, not to lose and go home. Why? All that work is in, it's one? Okay, keep going, Joanne, let's go. <laughs> in trouble. They've been passed by Team Grand Slam at their final challenge. And with their five minutes up, they've also missed out on two points. For us, it was uh, a bit of a disaster. Can you see it? The green one. Yeah. Team Grand Slam have the cash locations revealed and claimed two points. The Warrior Paint. I'm ready. <laughs> You're crazy. Hurry up. Oh my what gosh. What are you doing? This is pride. Way harder. Maddie, to think it is. Pride. Game. Stop just checking. Courtney is a drama queen <laughs> because she always blows everything out of proportion. Kate, hey, stop. And look where you're throwing. You're just checking aimlessly. No. Focus. I'm so mad at you right now. This is so difficult. Look how you said you played baseball. Target! <laughs> you are gonna have to run extra fast to catch more points if you don't hit these on the target! <laughs> Do not please right now. Great, good job. You know how hard that was? Not hard. You were laughing and flailing. You should have stopped, breathe, and focus don't and Don't even throw. say that. If you did that, you wouldn't have even got one. Really? Really. Whatever. <laughs> No matter what happens, Steve-O and Devo aren't getting any points at the lighthouse, but Team Powerhawk still need to light up the dragon to see the cash locations, and then hopefully nab some more points to avoid elimination. This is Team Powerhawk. We're not quitting. Don't worry about my beauty, baby. We want to win this, whatever it is. Team Glam Squad is facing a 15-minute penalty in today's race because they were spared from elimination in the first craze maze. To stay in the game, Joanne needs to launch a blitzkrieg of paint bombs at her mom and hope that a few find the target. I'm sorry, Come this way, this way. It's not easy. Ouch! Zero points. They'll have to hope that the last few minutes of cashing reveals some big points. Yes. Team Grand Slam left the lighthouse before Team Powerhawk. But they've let their advantage slip away. They just found it for us. Oh, that's one. Uh -huh. Well, we took us, uh, I don't know, a good five minutes to find that one, and then the team was right behind us. So. Take it, Lou. A one point. A one point. OK, that's OK. We're going to have to try 110% and get every cash that we can and make best use of our time. We just have just five minutes to be there. If we didn't get there by five minutes, we will be eliminated. That's it. That's our chance. Luma, when are we there? Run, run, run. 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 Team Glam Squad may be in trouble. Unless one of the other teams fail to cash a lot of points or can't complete a challenge before the five alarm alarm. And Team Mayhem are cutting it close, hitting the beach without a minute to spare. It's right over there. I see it. We're 15 minutes away from the five alarm alarm, and we're looking for Team Glam Squad. 
they're wearing pink. I should be able to see them, right? It's just it's all so green. You'd think pink would just Here they come! Step on it, guys! Out of Big Glam Squad! Awesome! Join right here! How do you guys think you did today? I think we did great, and we tried really hard, and I think that's what matters. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Now, do you think you got enough points to carry on? Yep. Yes. We believe we have. Excellent. Step up on the podium. We're going to tally those up. OK, good. Excellent. Thank you. The rest of the teams have 15 minutes until the five alarm alarm. For every five minutes they're late, I'm going to dock one point. The winners of the last cash craze are struggling. You didn't know you had this area to find a, you know, a chest under the sand. You don't know where to pick. We didn't know how deep it was going to be, so I kind of got lost there. I started getting tired. Sam, it's not there. We're going to get kicked off today, baby. After Bubble Bust was a bust, Team Bombshell are really pushing each other hard. Thanks for laughing. It's a funny situation. Funny that I feel sick. Yeah. Maddie. I'll make you run tell you if you're up, then you'll feel better. Madison. She's being so rude to me right now. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make you run till you puke, and then you laugh in if my face If you puke, you'll it. feel better. You are 16. I'm eight years older than you. I'm not as fast as you. Could be. I want to win you the amazeball, so let's go. Whoa. I'm going to throw up. Then throw up. Throw up, then. Throw up. OK, hey, what's up there? Go to the corner. I don't know. Stand up. Team Glam Squad has already reached the finish line. Team Mayhem is still trying to complete their third and final challenge. I can't find it. I have not got time to get lost. Meanwhile, the rest of the teams are nabbing their last caches before heading back. If we can make it to the next cache in 10 minutes, then we should have enough time to get back. So do that one, and then go back towards the finish line. What are you doing? Are you caching? Yeah. We have to get back. Look at your clock, Madison. Don't worry about it. We need to make the most of every minute in this competition. And if we get that time penalty, who knows what'll happen. You're not even concerned about time at all. No, I'm not. I'm concerned about having fun and getting some points. One point. Like I said, pointless. Money in the bank. I found it. If things weren't bad enough, Team Mayhem has just lost out on two points for taking more than five minutes to finish the challenge. we got three minutes, and we can't figure out where the finish line is. While some teams are struggling in the last few minutes, Team Zen Force is taking no chances, and they make a sprint to the finish. All right, Team Zen Force, out of B, guys. Yeah. Excellent. Take the spots up on the podium. Team Mayhem need to fire up their generator before the five alarm alarm or they'll be eliminated from the competition. Once we got it put together, Sam wanted to go at a pace. I was going a little faster than her, and she slowed me down to her pace. But Sam, that was a, that was a captain, that, that was captain move right there. They were good. Sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. Team Mayhem is finally finished the challenges. Now they've got to hustle back. We got one minute. Right, Team Wack and Jack, awesome. Great job, guys. Yeah. Team Maxie and Jody. Woo. Team Buttercup. Team yeah. Buttercup, good job. Take your spots up there. Awesome. Team Grand Slam, awesome. Three teams are still out there, and Mayhem <laughs> are trying their best to find caches and avoid elimination. Bombshells, bombshells. Team Bombshell, wicked! Dubla's awesome! Up there at the podium, just two teams remaining. Team Powerhawks, awesome! Good job, guys, good job! And our first day champions, they're our last team to arrive today. Where's Team Mayhem? Oh, there it is, baby. There we go. Okay, let's, we might get one more. The five alarm alarm. And 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 I'm I'm still 
waiting on Team Mayhem. What we'll have to do is run over, go over that bridge down there and come back. Sam, Sam, we're going across. I got you, Sammy. Team Mayhem are now losing one point for every five minutes they add to the clock. Let's hope their gamble pays off. Sam, honestly, we got about 300 yards of sprint. That's it. We got to get there first. I spy with my little eye something that is a darker blue than Buttercup. Here they come. Yeah. How cool was that? That's a nice heel click for somebody who just lost three points. Oh, really? 15 minutes, that's crazy talk. All right, let's see who had the most points. This was an extremely close race, with three teams sharing the lead all day long. But in the end, with 31 points, today's winners are Team Set Points. Great job, guys. Awesome. And as the winners, it's my pleasure to let you hold the Amaze Ball. Yes. We worked hard today. Very hard today. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we, what did you say? Um, we live to fight another day. Excellent. And back up. Now it's the moment that's not as much fun. The elimination. Who had the lowest number of cash points in today's craziness? Is it you, Team Powerhawk? You had trouble at the lighthouse, but then you tried to claw your way back up. Team Mayhem, you left yourself with no time to cash after the last challenge. And you lost three points for arriving 50 minutes past the five alarm alarm. But with 20 points each, you can relax. <laughs> Grand Slam. And Glam Squad, please join me in the craze days. <laughs> Glam Squad, you started off the day with a penalty. And you had less time than any other team to cash points. And Grand Slam. You took a long time to jump off that pier today. Do you think that still left you enough time to cash as many points as you'd need? Well, the team with the least amount of points and leaving us today is... Team Glam Squad. So Glam Squad, time to put your cash nabber in the recycling bin. I wish we had another chance, at least to stay one more time, one more episode, you know, because we really, this, we got really used to it at this point, and then we're just out, you know. Let's hear it for Team Glam Squad, everybody. Woo! Awesome. Amazing. It was a close one today, and Team Glam Squad paid the ultimate price for coming up short. All right, teams, you guys need to rest up, because the next craze maze is a wild one. Get ready to go crazy, and we'll see you next time on Cash Craze. Next time on Cash Craze, the teams take on a craze maze testing brawn and brains, balance, and aim. It's a race to have the most cash in the No matter what it takes. This is just a game, right? It's not execution. And one team stuns everyone with a last-minute decision no one can predict. 